Hello, my name is Ava Carney and I'm an artist based in Chicago. I'd like to first start by thanking the Nova Institute for the opportunity to share some of my work. My father is an internal medicine doctor and my mother is a painter. So the fields of biology, medicine and art have always been very near to my world. And I would say equally influential to my worldview. From both a personal and a global standpoint, I'm very excited to be part of this interdisciplinary conversation. When I think of ecological citizenship, the first words that come to mind are sustainability, mindfulness, and empathy. I also think about change and the kind of changes that are needed to become an ecological citizen or an ecological society. In this critical environmental moment, how do we support and motivate each other? How do we increase our capacity for empathy? How can we embrace curiosity and innovation over acceptance and fatalism? In 2018, I considered these questions in more detail during a year-long residency with the Chicago Park District, where I made sculptures in response to a public garden. This experience slowly shifted my focus away from more traditional venues and also brought up the question, if artwork in a gallery or museum has the ability to make us stop and look, how does our individual and social response change when art is situated in the living landscape? Over the course of the residency, which was held at a ceramic studio in a park, my curiosity grew stronger. I became really interested in the possibility of creating site-specific work, particularly for the early 20th century botanic garden on Chicago's west side, the Garfield Park Conservatory. This idea harmonized with my studio experiences at the park, the permeable boundary between art and nature, the equity of public space and the richness of community. Over the next several months of creating the work, I engaged with the complexity of the gardens through many visits, always keeping in mind the conservatory's mission, which envisions a world where people embrace and an honor the importance of nature. My exhibition, A Genius of the Spot, opened in the Jens Jensen Fern Room of the Conservatory in January of 2020. The title references a sentiment from artist Laredo Taft, whose figurative sculptures are displayed at the entrance to the Fern Room. I wish that every small park might have its fit sculptural adornment, a kindly genius of the spot. Here, genius is used in its original Latin form, meaning attendant spirit. The concise yet fundamental idea of a sculpture contributing new meanings to the spirit of place not only served as an inspiration and starting point for the work, but also expanded my understanding of how artworks can connect directly with a natural environment to become part of a greater relational network where equal consideration is given to the artwork, landscape, plants, and animals. In thinking of sculpture garden, theorist Penny Florence explains that art in tension with the natural is very different from the old binaries of wilderness cultivation or artwork context, and offers the possibility of the garden articulating a further reaching philosophy that helps us to think about what it means to be human. What Florence proposes is a turn away from the old binaries in order to embrace a more holistic, perhaps a more empathetic philosophy of being. As she suggests, stepping back from these familiar dualisms can start by bringing cultural activities like art viewing or making out of their typical settings and into green spaces. By design, art for the public garden leads back to the idea of ecological citizenship because of its ability to articulate a further reaching philosophy that gives us a critical perspective on our behaviors and thought systems. A sculpture placed in a garden challenges some of the humanist dualisms that position art as separate from life and culture as divorced from nature. It shifts our focus away from those binaries, instead becoming a place where art, design, science, education, and play can come together. It allows us to appreciate the nuance of difference and gives us a place where we can reclaim our roles as creators instead of consumers. To take a global view, in case you are wondering why art, Making and viewing art enables us to expand our capacity for imagination. Art is one outlet for bringing ideas into the physical realm, and it is a critical part of how we can start to create different realities for the world. If you'd like to see what I'm up to in my practice, you can follow me on Instagram or visit my website. Thank you so much for listening.